Okay, let's be real. If you've ever built a gorgeous, interactive dashboard in Tableau, only to watch it just slow to a crawl, or even worse, break the second someone applies a filter, then you are definitely in the right place. We're about to dive into a feature that is, and I'm not exaggerating, a total game changer. It shifts those complex calculations out of your dashboards and into the data prep stage, making your life a whole lot easier and your visuals faster and way, way smarter. So here's our roadmap. First up, we're gonna tackle the root of the problem, those pesky table calculations. Then I'll introduce you to the new solution, multi-row calculations in Tableau Prep. We'll break down the three massive benefits, walk through a real-world example step-by-step, -step, and then see the incredible payoff when it comes to interactivity. By the end, you'll know exactly how this can help you build much smarter dashboards. All right, let's set the scene. We all know table calculations are super powerful for analysis right inside Tableau Desktop. But the moment you try to take a dashboard that uses them into production, well, that's when you can run into some pretty serious headaches. This question right here? Ah, this is the one that probably keeps a lot of us data folks up at night. You know the feeling. You build the perfect moving average, it looks great. But the moment your user clicks a filter, the whole thing just falls apart. It starts giving them results that are confusing, or even worse, just flat out wrong. It's a classic and oh so frustrating problem. So what's really going on under the hood here? Well, it all boils down to when these calculations get computed. See, they happened after the main data query has already run. They only operate on what's currently visible in the dashboard. And that leads to, you guessed it, slow load times with big data sets, clunky interactivity, and the biggest issue of all, inaccurate results the second someone touches a filter. But what if we could flip that on its head? What if we could do all that heavy lifting before the data even gets near the dashboard? Well, that's exactly where this new approach in Tableau Prep comes into play. Meet multi-row calculations. This feature, introduced in Tableau Prep version 2023.2 and later, lets you handle things like moving averages or percent differences directly in your prep flow. Now, here's the key. You're not just writing a formula, you are physically baking the result right into your data itself. And what's really amazing is how you do it. It's all through a super simple visual interface. Tableau has taken these really complex window-based calculations and made them accessible with just a few clicks. You don't have to be a coding wizard, not at all. Okay, so we know what it is, but why does this really matter for your day-to-day -day work? Let's break down the three huge benefits that this new method brings to your entire analytics workflow. It really comes down to these three massive wins. Your dashboards get way faster, your filters finally stop breaking your logic, and your calculations become these powerful reusable assets for your entire team. First, let's talk speed. By moving all that heavy lifting into your prep flow, you're essentially pre-calculating the answer. So instead of Tableau having to figure out a complex moving average on the fly, every single time someone opens the dashboard, it's just reading a value that's already there. With large data sets, the performance boost is just dramatic. And here it is, this right here is the real game changer. Because the calculation is now a physical field in your data, it is completely immune to dashboard filters. Your users can slice and dice by date, by region, by whatever they want, and not moving average, it stays correct and stable. It just works. And finally, let's talk usability. A standard table calculation is, you know, pretty limited in what you can do with it. But once you create this field in prep, it acts just like any other number in your data set. You can use it in other complex calculations like LOD expressions. And when you publish that data source, it becomes a standardized, trustworthy asset for everyone in your organization. All right, theory is great, but let's actually see how this works in practice. We're going to walk through a really common business request, calculating a three-month moving average of sales, and we'll use the good old Superstore sample data. So imagine you're a regional sales manager. The goal is simple. You wanna track a three month moving average of sales for each of your regions. But here's the critical part. Your team needs to be able to filter down by month without the whole calculation going haywire. Inside Tableau Prep, this is actually surprisingly easy. First, you just aggregate your sales data down to the month for each region. From there, you just click on your sales field and from the menu, pick moving calculation. In the little editor that pops up, you tell it how to do the math, group everything by region, make sure it's ordered by date, and set the calculation type to average. Then, for a three-month window, you just tell it to include the two previous values. Give it a clear name, and that's it. You've just created a powerful, pre-calculated field, done. So we've built it, but what does this actually look like in the final dashboard? 
Come on, this is where the magic really happens. So let's put them side by side. The old way in desktop versus the new way with prep. And here is the payoff. Look at this, that solid line, that's our moving average from Tableau Prep. Now, watch what happens when a user starts filtering the date range, it stays perfectly stable, showing the real trend. Now, look at that transparent line, the one calculated the old way in desktop. See how it jumps all over the place? It recomputes with every single filter, giving a really misleading and volatile picture. The difference in reliability, it's night and day. Ultimately, what this all comes down to is trust. By pushing the calculation into the data prep stage, you're building a bridge of trust with your users. You're giving them the freedom to explore and ask questions of the data while guaranteeing that the core metrics they rely on are accurate, stable, and completely reliable. Okay, let's bring it all home. How can you take this new approach and start building smarter, more robust dashboards today? Think of this less as just a feature and more like a whole new strategy for your toolkit. First, build faster dashboards by pushing that heavy lifting to the prep stage. Second, deliver filter-proof logic that your users can actually trust. And third, start treating these calculations as reusable assets that you can build once and let your entire organization use everywhere. Moving these kinds of transformations to the prep stage is about so much more than just a few clicks. It's really about unlocking a whole new level of performance and reliability for your dashboards. So the only real question left is, what filter-breaking calculation are you going to go fix?